Hello everybody, it's Alan, and I am here in my little bug shirt, rest in peace. Um, so I am a little bit more than seven years on tea, so this is a little update video, and it'll be kind of short, famous last words, because um, I just did an update video for like six and three quarters years because I did not do an update for six years. So there's not really anything new, but, um, okay. Yeah. So I was seven years on June 5th and now it is July 12th. So a little bit more than a month past seven years and it's really cool like it's it's so interesting to think back on before I had decided that I or like realized that I needed to transition and decided to do so and um earlier in, in my transition I I would like think about guys who had been on T for you know, more than five years, like seven years, eight years, whatever. And I'm like, wow, like, that's so cool. Like they're so established in their real selves and established in their lives. And um, like they've gotten so far along in the physical changes and they just look great. And, and it just seemed so far off. And then now I'm in that position and it is very interesting just to observe aspects of my journey and interesting to have such a different perspective now. And um, sorry for the pauses, it's, it's um, hard to like stay focused because I get like self-conscious about the video because I'm not used to doing videos but anyway um I guess to sum it up like I'm just so happy and so thankful that I've been able to do this um it's an amazing gift to have peace and, or at least a lot more peace than I had before transitioning. And um, it's an amazing gift to have that peace and to be able to live as my true self and to recognize myself more in the mirror and to have people see me literally and on a more sort of deep level as my real self and to treat me as my real self, for people to treat me in a way that matches the way I see myself and matches what I am on the inside. And it's really life changing to say the least, <laughs> obviously. And um, yeah, it's amazing to have this peace and to not be in that mode that I was for years before transitioning of like constantly thinking about gender stuff and trying to figure out gender stuff and or like my gender and um, watching trans guys videos on YouTube like endlessly and staying up at night watching videos or thinking about all this stuff and having these feelings of frustration and being stuck and being confused and because it you know like legitimately it can be confusing to feel like this change or this decision like really resonates with you and feels right for you but then at the same time you haven't really experienced it yourself if you haven't made that decision yet to transition 
so you don't like totally know firsthand what it's like to actually do it and I think that hung me up for a while it can be hard to can be hard to like know for sure what something is gonna be like if you haven't done it yet um, and I like to be totally certain about things but in life that is often or usually not possible so as I probably mentioned in the past that's something I had to work through and my therapist I had a great therapist she helped me a lot with that and to realize you know I just need to have faith in my feelings and trust my feelings and trust myself that was a huge part of it I think that's a huge thing in life in general to number one notice your feelings and needs and to believe them and trust them even if most of the world is against you as is the case for trans people and um so um yeah so it just took trust thinking like okay I feel that I will be more likely to be happier and more peaceful for more of the time if I transition. So I'm gonna trust that and take this leap of faith. And I did that and, um, and it was very scary that doing this, you know, transitioning and making the decision to be true to yourself, despite so many other people saying that it's wrong or doesn't make sense, that takes so much courage. It really does. And, um, but then at the same time, it also kind of feels like it's not uh, like a choice. Like people will say to me once in a while, if I like come out to a new person as trans, they'll say, oh, wow, that's very courageous. And I'm like, well, thank you. But it wasn't like a choice, like a courageous thing, like saving somebody from a burning building. It It's like with this, with transition, it was either be courageous and have faith in my own core feelings and do it, or be fake and depressed and not be myself and not have other people see me as myself. And like, that's not life, you know? That's not a way to live. That's not really living. Um, and, um, cause, and it's like, why would anybody choose or choose, you know, I've been saying it's, it's not, not much of a choice. Um, but why would somebody choose, I'll put that in quotation marks, why would somebody choose to transition when, like I said, so much of the world is against us and trying to hold us back or just ignorant and doesn't get it and thinks we're crazy and so forth. Nobody's going to do that for a lark or because they're just a little confused or something. Um, I think it's really only a deep, core, true feeling that persists and that comes from your heart or your soul that can get you to do that. And... Um, so I guess I'm saying that it's like a need and real and of one's soul. And not listening to your heart and soul and your real self is not a way to live, but in a way, for some people, that might seem easier to sort of live a non-life or to live in a cloud of 
confusion and denial than to try to get the courage to do what you need to do to live an actual life where you're doing something true. Um, but anyway, so it, it's certainly not always easy, whether at the beginning or far along. And, um, speaking of that, like, like I still do have some dysphoria, as I think I mentioned before, um, about my body because no matter what I do, it won't be a hundred percent what, like, it won't be a hundred percent the, it won't have a hundred percent of the, like, gender characteristics that I feel in my mind and my heart that fit me. And so that's tough. Um, but I, through transition, I have gotten way closer than I ever could have without it. And even though that's not like perfect and I still feel dysphoria and I still have difficulty with that, it is way better, way, way better in terms of physical, like my body and dysphoria, that has improved just a ton, a ton. And in terms of social dysphoria, interactions with other people and my place and culture in the world, like that feels like just a gigantic um, improvement in terms of fit. Um, even though that aspect, the social aspect, does bring some difficult changes with it because it is challenging to kind of learn how to navigate the world and interpersonal situations or relationships when you weren't brought up to be in that role and you didn't learn it as you went. Um, So, and, and an example of that is, um, like, friendships, basically, like, with women. And still, most of my friends are women, and I just enjoy being friends with women. I enjoy their company a lot. And um, because of my life experience, you know kind of being raised as a girl and living as a woman for 31 years, there's a lot that I can connect with, with women, even though my self and brain and soul is that of a man, there's still these other connections. So, so anyway, I, I still have some wonderful friendships with women, which is lovely. Uh, but then it can also be a little more tricky because there, like, it can be more likely for there to be, like, um, misunderstandings or, like, f feelings on one end or the other if, I, you know, if I'm hanging out with women who have the potential to be romantically interested in men. Um, so that can be complicated, but I haven't actually had problems, like it's been fine, but it, there, there's just like an extra layer of things to kind of think about. But anyway, um, but then kind of a flip side to that is that now as a man, I have been more able to date and have relationships with women who... Like feel like a better fit for me because um, 
I've always felt more of a resonance or like connection or something with women who are either straight or queer or bisexual than like strictly lesbian women for the most part. And that makes sense because I'm a man. Um, <laughs> and so that had, so my transition has opened up a world of dating and relationships, well, relationship now that I'm in a committed, long-term, wonderful relationship. Um, it's opened up this new world of a relationship where it's like just a wonderful fit. Like, oh my god, like that's amazing to be with somebody who like really sees me for who I am and like responds to me in the way that feels like a fit and is attracted to me in in this in terms of my um maleness and like manliness <laughs> and stuff like that feels amazing to receive that from somebody like um it just it's i mean it's really a dream come true so um yeah, so there have been some challenges with adjusting to my role as a man, uh, you know, in terms of like learning, learning how to learn and stuff. Um, but the the benefits and like the fit of it is just amazing. And as with that, there are also so many other differences and changes that feel so much better than I could have imagined and that I may not have necessarily known about or expected because um, I had not had that experience yet before transition. And um, as I've said in other videos, there are aspects of physical, medical transition, as well as like social or psychological transition that are like way more of a fit than I could have ever imagined. And I would never have been able to have these experiences of these things that fit amazingly if I had not just finally gotten really in touch with my feelings and had that trust in my feelings like I was talking about earlier. So, um, like I've mentioned before, like having facial hair feels like so natural to me. Like I don't think about it much, but it just feels natural. And I think that's a sign that it's natural is that I don't think about it that much. Cause like before you transitioned, before I was on testosterone, there were aspects of my body that I did think about a lot and I did like kind of unhappily examine them in the mirror because they felt just a bit off like like gears in a machine that like don't quite fit and they keep making noise and like like the machine's kind of working but it's kind of clinking around and just, like it's not not so good and um and having the contrast now of having transitioned and feeling this fit of all these things i can look back and think oh well it seemed like that machine was working mm, like kind of okay back then before transition but now I can see that it wasn't because that sucked. And now knowing what it feels like to have way more of a fit physically, mentally, etc., I'm like, oh, it makes sense that I was um, obsessed with watching trans guys' videos for years and kept torturing myself with 
thinking about all this gender stuff for years because something was wrong and it was not working and it would never work because that like my brain and heart and soul are what they are and they are this a man and I have been able to get there and it's amazing and and then I just will briefly mention uh, one or two other things like body hair I don't have that much compared to some other people but you know before transition I had said like oh I don't think I want body hair like mm. but um how do you know until you've experienced it right I mean well that's a simple way to put it, or oversimplified way to put it. But, like, now having, like, some chest hair and stomach hair and more arm hair and leg hair and everything else, um, it's like, oh, this is so fitting. It's just me. And I like it a lot more than I thought I would. And, like, I look in the mirror and look at my chest and... I'm like, oh, like, you can see more chest hair now. Like, that looks good, and I feel good about it. And I'm eager for more to come in. Um, so it's, they're just these wonderful, like, kind of surprises. I mean, not really surprises, but, like, in a sense, kind of surprises that there are just so many of these things, like, pretty much everything that just, like, oh, what do you know? That feels like a fit. Um, and it was, what can I say? Just hard to imagine properly before I experienced it. So if there are people out there, and I'm sure there are, who are in their own process of trying to figure out their gender and figure out what they really feel and figure out what they need to do, um, I would say, like, you can't know how all this is going to go for you beforehand, but I would think you have some feeling within yourself that keeps coming up, and it might not make sense to you totally, and it might seem strange, and you might think about all of it intellectually and analyze it like I did, and that you might feel like you're not getting anywhere. Or maybe you do feel like you're getting somewhere, but that place that you're getting to doesn't feel good to you and it doesn't bring you peace and happiness and fit. And, and you know, I'm not claiming to have like 100% peace or happiness, well, like I said earlier, but... Um, I got to that place so many times when I was trying to figure out if I needed to transition or if I was trans. There are so many times when I would think like, you know, I feel fine how I am and I don't think transition is right for me and all these cultural, political, blah, blah, blah justifications of why I don't need to transition, like I'm feeling this way because of culture, blah, 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 like that didn't get me anywhere. Like, it's not about that. It's really not. It's about having a feeling, like a deep feeling, like from your gut, of like the wisdom of your body and the wisdom of your heart that keeps coming up because it's there. It's just there. Like, it exists. Like... It's not something that goes away or that can go away. And um, so it sucks to be in denial about that. So many people are in denial about that for quite a while. And some seem to be in denial about it permanently, like the um, trolls and that particular, like, um, a particular particular element of like the butch lesbian community not not all of them by no means do I mean all I just mean a particular element of them who 
seem to be in denial about their own selves and their own gender. And like, you know, the, the people that you've seen in the news who are known as like militant hobo homo <laughs> homophobes and are like politicians, like Republicans who pass, like try to pass these laws limiting the rights of gay people and stuff like and then they come out like years later as I'm actually gay and I did that stuff because I was afraid of it and I hated myself and I was in denial. I think that's what's going on with these um butch lesbians who uh just seem to spend their lives focused on trans guys and putting their time into that and trying to like tear them down with all this like intellectual crap and it's like well I'm sorry for you that you're strangely devoting your life to like thinking about this other group of people from you well, actually you're the same group of people because you're probably trans and like that's not peaceful for you and also you are hurting and damaging other people who are trying to simply be themselves and simply live with peace and happiness. Um, and you're damaging those people. Does that feel good? Probably not. Um, anyway, I was talking about denial. Um, yeah, and your true feelings. So yeah, it's, it's scary to have that initial moment of like, oh my god, like, I think my truth is that I'm trans and I need to transition. Yeah, that's scary. That's very scary and very daunting to think about all that that entails. It is, but it does not always feel like that. Um, it takes courage, but it's that the, the heart within you that is your truth that gives you courage if you can open up to just embracing it and embracing yourself and trusting in your truth, you can get there. And um, it won't be perfect necessarily, but it'd be a lot better than, than it has been. So anyway, this was <laughs> way longer than I anticipated, but I just really wanted to say those things, and uh, this stuff has been on my mind as I've gotten, um, yeah, this far along in my transition, and I'm so happy that there's farther to go, and I'm so excited for next year and 10 years, and like, it, I'm just excited, and that's a pretty awesome way to be living. So... Um, I hope you all are well, and my best wishes to you, and thank you for watching. Bye.